So you can see now I have a basic one that I could just work with and we can change it as we want. So we do have some services here that are some basic ones. And if I do want to change those to maybe some services that I do host, I could just come down here and we can start working with that. So I can change this to mini lab and then I could adjust this to my domain for my mini lab. So I could just do mini lab dot and then I can change this over here to Proxmox. And now I'm going to go over more of this in detail in a second. So I'm just going to control O that really quick. And now it's going to reload again. And you can see my mini labs here. And it's actually checking the URL to make sure that it's alive. And if I come over here, it's going to open it up to my mini lab. So if you notice that I just typed in Proxmox over here and it has this little icon. And then I was able to just do my URL. So I do have a proxy running in the house so I can resolve everything back to a domain. If you don't and you just have IPs, that's fine. You could just put your IP in here. And then next, we can talk about the icons. So I'm going to open up those really quick. So over here is the doc of how to configure everything. And to get to this, it's just over here under configuration off the GitHub. So I was just working with this before. And now if we pull this up, we can see that we're working with the monitor type. And if we come up to this, it's going to reference similar to what was in that pre-config file. So you can see over here we have the icon tag and it's telling it's using slash assets slash jellyfin, which we're not going to use. And if we scroll down a little bit, they actually have a way to use some different assets. So there's two different ones. There's simple icons or dashboard icons. Dashboard icons are a little bit nicer. If you use the server icons, it's going to be these, these flat uh, kind of grayscale images where if we use the dashboard ones, it's going to be more color and kind of a little more vibrant. So if you come over to the dashboard icons, GitHub, you could actually just come over here and search them. And then you could look up by whatever you want to do. So let's say I'm working with Proxmox. I just want to come over here and grab that. And then you can grab whichever one you want. So I'm just going to click copy and then I can come over here and edit it. Now it's still the same name, but I'm just going to change it to DI. And if I hit enter again, It'll refresh and you can see over here that now I have the colored icon and if I click it, it still comes over here to my Proxmox environment. So this is really more of a basic configuration. Maybe you just have a few services, whatever it might be. You have some bookmarks. You could of course come down and edit those as well. And we can just come over here and change these to whatever we might want. 